that's out, Barry Wood on his way, trying to pull his bat out of the way, couldn't manage it. Barry Wood misses out again here in a test match. He's out for six, Andy Roberts strikes the first blow for West Indies. Sir Andy Roberts and Mr. Roland Butcher are in Borbies. Yes, it was another historic day in the ancient county. Sir Andy spoke about his initial reaction and what should be expected at the end of the three-day clinic starting on Friday at the historic Albion Community Centre Cricket Club. Well, I must start from the beginning because I was speaking to um, young Basil Butcher, Basil Butcher's son in New York and we, we talk a lot and I tell him that, you know, I have knowledge about fast bowling that is being, isn't tapped into because to me it seems as though our belief is that you have to be a certified level 2 coach in order to pass on information to players and from an early age I said listen I was never coached whatsoever I learned from about fast bowling is self-taught and I think I can pass on some of that information to youngsters so that they can start thinking for themselves and become better players than they actually are so when he when he said okay he will speak to someone in Guyana and then a few weeks after, uh, Mr. Foster called me and you know, so we set up the, this from, from then because I believe that West Indies must use all its resources, both um, financial resources and knowledge in order to bring our cricket forward. So I have no problem in sharing my information with youngsters. Don't expect nothing because you don't expect that you're going to get anything out of it. What I would like is that the information that is passed on will be used in the future. And you can always go back and say, listen, I talked to Sir Andy and this is what he said I should do. But try and focus on your cricket and try to fit in some of what I taught you into your game. And as I said early on, it's personal. You have got to take interest in your development and every youngster to make sure that you can move, uh, move on and help um, Guyana's cricket. Meanwhile, Mr. Butcher spoke about educating players and not focusing too much on techniques during this clinic. Well, for a long time now, I have been very cognizant of the work that uh, Mr. Foster and his board have been doing for Burbies cricket over the years. Um, as I said before, uh, there is a family connection. Um, you know, Basil Butcher is a cousin of mine, and obviously he was a Guyanese and a West Indies stalwart. So, you know, we've had connections um, with the area. So once uh, Mr. Foster asked me to come and certainly assist the effort, um, you know, I really just had no hesitation in doing it because uh, to assist the young players as much as possible to fulfill their dreams and the country's dreams you know I'm all for that and I was delighted really to accept the invitation um, to come and help as as well as I could well I think for me um, it would be one of education um, not necessarily technique I think um, there's too much attention paid to technique uh, generally um, in coaching of players. I, I think it is more about getting the players to believe in themselves, believe in the method that they've got, um, encourage them to work hard to, to improve um, on that method and also to you know enjoy what they're doing because cricket like any other sport is supposed to be enjoyed and you get your best results when you enjoy it. So mine really will be one of trying to educate both players, um, parents as well as coaches and managers who have these young people in their care. Reporting for the evening news sport from Rose Kanji, Brandon Corlett.